After watching his tape, Raiders fourth round selection Zamir White could end up being the Raiders lead back. He is a powerful runner with great lower body strength and although he is not the quickest or most elusive player on the field, he does have good straight line speed as shown in his 4 4 40 yard dash. Zeus as they call him has the vision that can make him one of the league's premier running backs. Mix that in with his lateral jump cut ability and you have a solid player who will contribute to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, one of the interesting parts with the Raiders in the 2022 NFL season is they will be transitioning from a heavy zone scheme offensive system in 2021 to a more traditional gap scheme this season, also referred to as a power running scheme. Now, in my opinion, White's vision mixed with his patient running style makes him a player that could fit well in this scheme. Take this play as an example. This play referred to as a one back power is a basic power blocking concept you get an offensive lineman that pulls, everyone else blocks down, and the running back just makes the read. Now what I see in this play is that the running back is patient, lets his blockers up front open up the lanes. He doesn't get out of his lane, he doesn't panic. He lets things develop in front of him, and he just hits the hole and picks up a nice seven yards. Now with that being said, do not underestimate his ability to also have success in the zone running scheme. Remember, in the modern NFL, you will have to be able to run in both schemes. In zone, Zeus does a nice enough job that I can see him getting snaps as soon as this rookie season. Take this play as an example. Now to understand this play, when you're running zone, one of the things you want to do as a running back is hit the outside hip of the guard. Now as a defense, if any of your players on the front side could jump through the lane and reset the line of scrimmage, on the zone concept, that's kind of what you want to do and that will force the running back to, to have to bend it back inside. Now Zeus is different because when Zeus hits the front side and a guy is able to get upfield, he has this unique jump cutting ability as you see it right here. And he makes it effortlessly and because of that ability he's able to pick up 25 yards on this run. Now this is why I believe he can fit in either in the power or the zone scheme because he's shown it on tape. Now to wrap this video up I want to leave you with these final three thoughts. Thought one, Zeus is a solid third down option for the Raiders. He is really good out of the backfield and runs solid routes. And besides coming out of the backfield to run routes, he could also be kept in as a blocker as he's a really good pass blocker. And the same cannot be said about Josh Jacobs. On tape, he struggles in pass protection. And this could leave it open for White to see some snaps during two minute drills or on third downs. Thought number two, Zeus played a ton of snaps during college on special teams. Not only did he return punts and kicks, but he also played as a front line defender during punt return. And he even had a punt block in college See the 2020 tape against Arkansas. He also played on punt. He would line up as a gunner and run downfield and make tackles. Zeus has the ability to be a good special teams player for the Raiders. Never underestimate the value of those type of players. Look, to wrap this up, Josh Jacobs is going to get paid 10 to $12 million. And that is probably just the starting point. I don't believe paying running backs is smart, especially since today's league really relies heavily on passing. On top of that, there are tons of really good running backs out there. On top of that, they don't generally last past five to six seasons, and Josh Jacobs is about to be in year four. Now, I don't know if Zamir White is the long-term answer at running back, but I do think it's a start for the Raiders. And it also gives the Raiders leverage moving forward, especially in the Josh Jacobs negotiations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.